I'm gonna be a little like, yeah, I'll use Sacred Sock and Bottle sometimes. Because quite frankly, I don't really need to do too many fights, but I also don't want to skip too many fights and be like, I'm trying to rush the end of the game, but I really don't need all that many. Another one of these weird walls, but I don't see any security device nearby. This isn't a wall, it's a security gate. Who cares what it is? So how do we disable this one? The security gate is being powered by a nearby energy source. If we can find and destroy that source, we should be able to remove this gate. Got it, then let's go look for that energy source. So these. I will set the links for your B, why not? Well, that activates that one, okay. And I, did I get another one? I did get another one, let's go. Now I can get to whatever that is. Some of the late game dungeons and dungeons and hearts look really nice. Like the layouts and stuff, this dungeon for example. I do actually really like the dungeon design because in Zillia, back in Zillia, they Tales game started to like have not as much emphasis. They started to get really I don't want to say lazy. Berseria and Zillia are amongst my favorite Tales games. But, um, they started to get a little more, like, oh, like, not as descriptive with dungeons. Like, they didn't really have as much, like, character to them. They didn't have as much detail to them. So it's really nice to play Hearts, which was localized in 2014 around Zillia 2. It's really nice to play Hearts and see that dungeons are a lot more, like, you know, varied and stuff. No one have recover. There you go. Not today. Get him, Kohaku. Barrel's dead. Barrel's dead. Fix that. Let's go. Oh, I did level two. Oh yeah, um, TP isn't taken during overlimit. Dude, that just reminds me of the Judah Mila victory quote. Every time I see it, it reminds me of Judah Mila being so in sync with that one victory quote. Okay, so I just learned something new about hearts. Any overlimit level, TP is just not taken, so you can just go wild with combos, basically. It's basically like a level three, four Vesperia over limit all the time because i did level two that time and there was no tp being taken so it is nice to see the sorcerer's ring back i haven't seen that since um vesperia ba, 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 ba. As of Arise was good game, but dungeon design was lacking. Not just Arise. I actually think Arise did a decent job with dungeons. I'm, I was more talking about Zillia and Berseria. Does Arise have amazing dungeons? No, far from it. Arise isn't even the first game. I think Arise did... I like how Arise like, actually like added like minerals to pick up and more things to pick up. I mean, the dungeon design wasn't like spectacular in the rise, but it definitely wasn't like, it's not the first one that comes to mind. I was more so talking about Berseria and Zillia. <laughs> I mean, a rise wouldn't be among the top of dungeon design, but I don't think a rise is like the worst one. A rise did good with like giving you a reason to explore, like adding the minerals was kind of fun. It was fun to go around, swim in the water. A rise added swimming, which is pretty neat. It was just neat to get a change of pace and be able to swim in the water. And having like the fish and stuff. So I think a rise did like pretty well. Pretty well going back to a return to form for exploring. It didn't do perfectly and it could definitely improve, but like it did a decent job at. A step in the right direction. I think. Arise was pretty fun to explore. Hey, 
it hurts to say that Berseria and Zillia have lacking dungeons because they're both really good games. They're in my top five Tales games. They're very, very top tier Tales games, but like exploring the dungeons in them, it doesn't even like ruin the game. It's just like, it could be better. It really hurts to say that, especially about Berseria, because Berseria is like, basically, barely, like, Graces is just above Berseria and being my favorite, and Berseria is really good too. But dungeon design isn't anything that's like, oh, this dismisses it as a bad game. It's more of a nitpick. And it really doesn't matter, because as long as the game is fun to play with gameplay and story and characters, who cares about the dungeon design? It's just something I noticed in the game, but it doesn't, like, ruin... So like bad dungeons, a new um, a new pillar of RPG and gaming stuff. Bad dungeons can't ruin the game. Even when I say a game has lacking dungeons, it doesn't ruin the game because it depends how fun everything else is. Dungeons are like at the bottom of it. Do you want good dungeons in your games? Yeah. I would say you want good dungeons in your games, but games that don't do good dungeons doesn't mean they're bad. All dungeon talk reminds me of those doll dungeons in five. <laughs> five had dungeons. I'm joking, I know 5 had like 2 dungeons in the whole game. 5 only had like, what? It was like the Temple of Eternity, it had the uh, the place where the gush of air, the gushes of airs, air was? Where you fight the Demon King, the Demon King's castle I think, and then Temple of Eternity. And obviously Empyrean, which that wasn't even a dungeon, that was just like a new layout. SMT5 was fun to explore, but the dungeons could have been better, yeah I agree. Oh, hey, save point. I should do skills, actually. I probably have some new skills to do. SMT5 could have had some better dungeons. It, like, it did well with, um, exploring. Again, I'm not saying the fields were, like, some of the fields were questionable. It did well with having the demons on screen and just the concept of, like, roaming around seeing the demons on screen like fighting them and also talking to the demons and seeing whatever banter because i've always liked the demons talking to you and giving you items getting side quests so it did well in the in the somewhat open world it was an open world but it did well in feeling like an open world it could have had better dungeons though yeah but back to what i was saying about the tales games i love it doesn't make the game like suck it's just kind of like oh they could have done better with this but they didn't like, they could have, they could have improved on it, but it doesn't make the game terrible. It's just something like if I was making the game, I would have improved this, you know? SMT5 was a really fun game. Which is an anomaly, because like, the story in that game was pretty terrible. It actually had a really interesting premise at the beginning, I was like, dude, I can't wait to play the game and be like, they're probably going to do better with the characters and the lore, but nah. They, they just dropped the ball in the mid to late game. It's an anomaly to me because it's probably like, it's probably in my top 20 or top 15 games of all time, but it's story and characters aren't even like good. Some games be like that. I just really like the feeling of going around with the demons and like exploring the world. It was fun. Very rarely will a gameplay portion of a game, like, push it that much for me, but SMT5 somehow did. Anyway. Might be at the end of this place? I don't exactly know. I guess we'll find out. I only have 25 minutes left. We'll see if I can get all this done in 25 minutes, whatever cutscenes we get. It's Gardenia. Though we are standing in the very lab where Creed created Gardenia, what you see before you are only prototypes. These numerous failures culminated in Creed's eventual success after discovering he lacked a vital element. Gardenia was then launched in its larval state via the transmission system, growing to its current size in space. But it was that element that doomed our endeavor, because of it controlling Gardenia became impossible. I suddenly got the hiccups, that's not a good sign. You can't be moving yet, Lothia. 
Yes, I can. I must stop Gardenia no matter the cost. I must atone for my sins, for Fluora and everyone. Don't be stupid, Lithia. Must initiate the warp. Stop Gardenia. Bring an end to the tragedy. I, I feel like they're going to kill off Lithia. Part of me does. If that be your wish, my master, I shall stay with you till the end. Well, let's get the Gardenia and show Lithia she didn't spend the last 2,000 years fighting for nothing. Come on, Tin Man, help us out. There's gotta be a way to use this without Lithia's real energy, yeah? Affirmative. I'll activate the transmission system's warp function myself. Please take care of Lithia. Hey, hold on. This don't involve you dying or something, does it? I'll be upset if they kill Kunze at the end as well. I'm gonna say this. I would be upset. I actually really like Lithia. Lithia is like a neat character. Like, she's not like, you know, amazing super standout. But for the game and like its events, they did super well with Lithia, I think. So, I would be upset. But I'm gonna be honest with you. It kind of... I can see the ending of the game. I I'm not... I'm like theorizing right now. So, obviously, it goes without saying. I don't want chat to spoil. I'm theorizing right now. But like, I can see them killing off Lithia. I would be sad. I would like hate it i wouldn't hate it i would like be sad and like oh that that really sucks but i kind of feel like it would be necessary it could be necessary for the story like i can see them going a certain way where they kill off lithia because like she you know she wants to like make up for her sins and everything it would make sense in the game's story if they did it and i would be sad but also i would be like unlike period and pyrox i'd be like okay i could see the angle they were going for i'm down for it but you know Either way, I hope she doesn't die, but I guess we'll see what happens. There must be another way. What if we all contributed a little bit of will energy? Would that work? Negative. The amount of will energy required for a warp to Gardenia is prodigious. Even if your hypothesis, hypothesis succeeded, you would be left in no state to battle Creed. Though my sphere is synthetic, it's enough to send you to Gardenia. You sure about this? Affirmative. I'll entrust my master to your care for a second time. I think I now comprehend what it means to place hope in someone else. You can count on us. Just imagine the protagonist getting crit and getting a game over. Oh, that's, yeah. That, of any SMT game, that's like the worst thing ever. That's like when I really hate the game. Upgrade protocol complete. By the whale. The sound, it cannot be. Using Chlor Seraph's weapons and speed with Clenal Seraph's armor and power has far exceeded my initial expectations. What are my new world capabilities? Let us see what our art what arts our combined strength can produce. Is that like a different Incro's form? This is no ordinary art. Out of the way, everyone! Giant Dark Beam! Inkaros, what have you become? Only when you made me little moth, I did not wish to assume such a hideous form. This is like ball fusing with Gaia straight up. But you forced my hand. This is the only way for me to destroy you all and assume my place at Master Creed's side. The path to Gardenia is mine to tread, and I will be sacrificing this woman to pave the way. Well, absorption device engaged, now charging transmission system's warp function. You will pay for this, Inkaros. Path opens. On second thought, perhaps I will let you bask in my master's presence once more. But only your decapitated heads that I take back as trophies for him. That's a little weird. It doesn't matter how strong you become, Inkaros. We'll beat you. And make for Gardenia. No one can stop us. And you've got some nerve trying. We'll save Organican. Organica. And my master. And her damn Spiria, too. Yo, this is pretty sick. We're gonna fight this Zeramai's Inkaros. This is definitely like the last, uh, Inkaros fight. This looks very, very climatic for a final Inkaros fight. Oh dear, Ground Dasher. Okay.
Hopefully after this, there's not too much cutscenes because this is like, I'm like, I've got like, I got 20 minutes left. So as long as cutscenes don't go too long after this, then I should be fine for wrapping up stream at five hours. Calm down, calm down. Die. Oh, with the over limit. Level four doesn't even exist. Oh, beautiful. Get the Mystic Art. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, I love her uh, getting hit drunk. Nice little Solar Wind. Let's go. I did a good chunk of damage. I'm back here. Arrow's dead. Goodbye. Get her up. All right, that combo's annoying, but I can live with it. Not today. Oh, got her. I didn't think I'd be able to interrupt her. Oh, she also don't even have been perfect for this. He has light. Seems like she's weak to light. Yeah. Ow, ow. In grows. we can talk about this. Although I need my revenge, so not really. It's very fitting that I'm poor right now, by the way, because I need my revenge on Gramps. Etc. Etc. I'm dead. Papa. Not Barrel. Oh, Barrel's dead. Goodbye. Pineapple gel, Kohaku, my girl. <laughs> Dude, I love her uh, getting hit drunks. I can't even see what's going on because of that rock that was in the way. Bosses in this game really have a lot of health. I feel like our- oh my word, you just killed everyone with that, huh? Okay. That's not very pog. Quite the opposite, in fact. Baku, start resurrecting. No, no, no. No casting. Oh, she got it off. Miracle gel me. Means I can't revive, so I'm gonna have to have him get up Kohaku. Oh, well, I guess he's dead. Never mind. Leave her alone. Oh, 